Today I am going to be doing an unboxing with you guys to show you the very first bag that actually maybe I shouldn't say that. OMG you guys! So welcome back to another new video. Thank you so much for following my first luxury. If this is the first video that you're watching from us, hello, my name is Vivian. On my first luxury, I am sharing insights, information, and also experiences that I have with all of the luxury brands. So if you are new to our channel, maybe you should follow us because we do upload new videos every week. We have a lot more exciting stuff that we're gonna be sharing with you coming up. Today, as you can see from the intro, I am going to be sharing something that's really exciting, which if you can recognize these orange packagings, you would know that I am talking about our mess today. I am going to be doing an unboxing and I am going to share with you guys the very first Hermes handbag. And it's one of those that is very iconic. So stay tuned and make sure you watch the video to the end. Besides that, I wanted to share a little bit of the back end story about this bag um, because this is not my bag, but it is the first Hermes handbag that I'm going to be unboxing on this channel. And I also wanted to go into details like I did in the other videos from the channel. I wanted to show you guys the detail and the close-ups of this iconic Hermes handbag. As of right now, I am very grateful that one of my good friends was very generous. We also have a few more Hermes related videos coming up. So if you have not subscribed to our channel, definitely make sure you click that subscribe button right now so you don't miss out on anything that we're going to be sharing. Without further ado, shall we open this orange box and see what's inside? Let's do it now. Real good leather bag always smells really good. And I'm trying to get into it. You guys bear with me, we're almost there. Okay, there it is. Ta-da! And can you guess what color it is? And can you guess which bag it is at this point? This bag is a lot to comprehend. Voila, this is a beautiful Birkin 35 in the silver hardware. Besides everything else that has been shared on the internet, I wanted to talk about the Hermes Birkin story because I actually have friends who work for Hermes and I personally have also shopped at Hermes. However, I have not considered getting a handbag from them because there are a lot of choices and I think I wanted to be familiarized. The Birkin bag was inspired by the actor Jane Birkin and she met the Hermes CEO back in the days on an airplane so they were having a conversation and she was carrying like a bucket and then the bucket had her belongings and everything the ceo of hermes asked her if there was a handbag that fit all of the belongings in there and she's like you know simply i haven't found any and then notes were taken then later on the ceo of hermes decided to design this special handbag because of the story. That is kind of like the history of the Birkin bag. And fast forward, one day I was just talking to my friend who started working at Hermes and I was asking, is it really true that nobody ever knows how many Birkins are in there? The answer is no one ever knows how many Birkin bags produced a year and the tradition of honoring a Birkin bag came from when Hermes decided to reward 
their loyal clients. They decided to honor these clients for their loyalty. So they decided to offer a handbag that is not sold directly to anybody and it's not a part of their like regular merchandise. So it's kind of an honorary thing that Hermes decides to do for their clients to reward their loyalty. This tradition has passed on in the fashion world, like owning a Birkin or even collecting a Birkin has become such a trendy and exciting thing to do, I guess. People are showing off their collection because there is an array of colors and so many different combinations that you can choose for your Birkin bag. So there's different leather grays, there's different color stitching, there's different hardware colors, and also the make of the bag. So there's just many combos out there, and still until this day, if you really want to get a Birkin bag from the Hermes store, and as I'm pretty sure many of you have heard, or if you haven't heard, it's basically not a very easy thing to do because they still do not sell Birkin bag or they do not display any of these merchandise in the display window and it's still kind of like an honorary thing that the brand is trying to accommodate to their special clients. That is it about the Hermes Birkin, the background, the history and how their business run. So now you have seen this beauty. My heart has so many butterflies right now. I can't wait to get into the details. Let's dive in for a closer look. So you guys, I just took the bag out, but I figure since we're doing a very detailed video of this unboxing, I'm going to show you what else is in the bag. The first is a ring protection coat. And it's kind of funny because when I talked to my husband about it, he was like, well, I thought leather are exposed in the wild and they're okay with rings, so why do you need a ring coat? And my answer is since now we became a luxury item, you want to make sure it's protected. And also the leather is treated. You need extra care. Let me see what else is in here because I have never opened one before. Basically, there are just two sets. I believe these are just the ring coats. I'm not going to do that because the owner might want to keep it in that condition. And next in here, I also found a little envelope it has our mess stamp on there when you open it up it just says it's the Hermes leather, I'm guessing the leather care guide, and tells you how to store it, how to keep it in good shape, and how to make sure that it ages well. And Usually um, luxury leather bags all come with a booklet. Next, I have two little pouches. The owner had already assembled these two pieces together and voila they're right here so i have this set over here basically this is the padlock and this is the leather that covers the key and you can of course you know add these two accessories onto your bag depending on how you wear it i've seen people who are very adamant about you know putting everything on there i also saw other girls who just left it like this so this is what's inside the box What do you think? I mean, I love a lot of my handbags, but a Birkin is just really something that is so impressive on so many levels. First is the quality of the leather. I think this type of leather is called the Clemens leather. It's kind of like a soft and supple leather. I know any time when a luxury brand chooses um, materials like this, they make sure they scan the leather first, make sure there's no imperfections on there. So for the most part, like this is just such a beautiful item to look at now we can come in closer I think the stickers are still on here um, it's a great way to store and keep your item in its original condition if you're not using it my friend has a lot of bags so this is not the only thing he has and um, you know sometimes they just like to leave the sticker on but underneath the sticker I can see an impression 
Uh, it just says Hermes Paris. Hope you guys can see it too. So this detail you see here is like a creasing from the handle and I just want to briefly point it out because it might be a little nerdy for me to explain this. The whole handle is made from one piece of leather that's originally this width basically just started stitching this part together so the handle just stand up beautifully without falling on one side or the other that's just the way how a beautiful handbag should look like like a like gorgeous, a gorgeous girl, girl which she is so sideways you can pretty much see pleating over here and uh, that's what the side looks like back is also pretty iconic and I think if I look at this right now it also reminds me the look on some of the other designer handbags I think maybe YSL has one that looks just like that but that's Birkin and this is the other side of the bag let's go closer and take a look so everything is thought after and if you are present with the bag right now, all you can smell is some beautiful leather. So that's what I'm experiencing right now. I thought you might want to know. Okay, so now you've kept that open. And I see a lot of ladies, they like to carry their Birkin like this because ultimately if you are frequently reaching in your bag, this is probably the best way or else this flap is kind of in the way and uh, we can see then these are the stamps here it just says Hermes Paris made in France and then also the hardwares are protected I know sometimes they're stamping behind the strap so yes over here you can see that there are some stamping here. I'm not too sure what those are for, so I'm gonna do some research. Opening it up, and you can see that it's just one compartment. I mean, it has it has like one side pocket here. There is a zipper compartment over here. Yep, okay, so just a leather compartment to store your important items. So I think maybe that's why a lot of online vendors are selling these like Birkin bag inserts um, to keep everything organized. Now I get it. Also, I think an important detail that I noticed here are these two holders. So we have two on each side. Then I figured, oh, is this what you do? Okay, that is a fancy detail, I think, that you have like just two little holders for your straps. And then obviously the right way to do it is... Okay, so now you have probably the most properly dressed Birkin right now. And uh, hold on, I have found the little padlock packet, so I am going to open that up. This is obviously the leather um, for the pet lock and this is bottom of the lock basically it's got the Hermes stamping this number I know matches the number that says on the key I think it's just like an indicator of finding the matching key because that's what also Louis Vuitton did by categorizing the key and the lock together it's easier for them to find which one fits what it's a beautiful detail the lock feels very substantial and when you open it, it's just such a beautiful, robust feeling to it. And then when you turn it, it just sounds beautiful too. Yes. 
All right, so now we're gonna come closer because I like to show of the detail because detail is everything and if detail wins, everything wins. And because every part of the handbag is all hand sewn together. So there's really no, you know, the right rule of what the stitches look like. I mean, obviously they follow, um, you know, the, the way it stitches, but you can see how nicely the stitches are done here. And I think my friend also chose like the tone on tone stitching, so they look very uniformed. And it's just like very beautiful. And also you can come over here and see the details on the handles. It's one piece made like this. And I don't know, for some authentication purposes, um, sometimes people say like which area has how many stitchings and I don't know, I just think this really stands the test of time. Now let's move forward to the bottom of the bag. It's also very nicely designed that there are four little feet for the Birkin. It kind of like stands out from the bottom of the bag. So unless you put something really heavy in there every time you put your hand back down, the bottom of the bag should not touch the floor. That is it for this week's video. I hope I was able to provide some insights or maybe a little bit more information. Um, and I hope that after watching this video, you are able to learn a little bit more information and the insights that I shared with you besides the other videos. I hope you are subscribed to our channel because like I said, for this year, we are planning to do a lot more very exciting things and maybe I can't tell you too much right now, but definitely I would love for you to join our community and you can subscribe to our channel and also find us on Facebook and Instagram because over there we kind of do like the daily posting. So thank you so much for your time and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up right now and stay tuned. I have more videos coming up for you. I hope you take care and enjoy your week. I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.